So I'm going to change some substrate for the uh, Dynasty's TPS. Uh, they're in these containers. They're, the container's too small probably for them, at least bigger might be better. Uh, and it, it's too moist, the substrate. And I've kept been keeping them in these for several months. So too moist substrate in a small container. So it's probably they're kind. Of, they might be a little sick. I saw one and it had a black patch on it or something. I'm guessing it's not. It, uh, they're old too. They're turning yellow, or they did turn yellow. But, so I'm going to change the substrate. Uh, let's start with. This one over here. This is one. Con this container is big, but that's the size I want to use. For. So I think that's a chestnut oak seed or uh, acorn. It's growing, but the larva's in here somewhere. There's the roots of it. There's a larva. But now the, the this sawdust is maybe live oak, not fermented. I'm gonna put it in anywhere. Not just sawdust. The dry one over here. This stuff because it, I don't want to take out the moisture out of this this white oak log, I think it's a white oak. Uh, I found it outside of Rotten. You see how soft it is? This is how soft you want it, I think. Um, white oak has, tends to have stringy stuff or on the, on the, underneath the bark. I don't know if this is white oak. So I like that it's soft. The moist. They can also be compost mostly, I guess. I've heard uh, they live in compost bins or something. They're adaptable. So, stuck in there. Um, there we go, the larva. No worms in there, too. There's there, the larva. This, these larvae are tiny because I didn't, I didn't keep them well. They ate each other too. A lot of them. But I had enough. Very fat, or she. I think it's a she because she's one of the smallest larvae I have. She's actually pretty active. I don't know if she. Um, right now she doesn't move much, but if you leave her alone after a few seconds or 30 seconds, she'll start digging, burrowing back into the substrate very quickly. She bites hard too, but her mandibles are in a stick, you know, like they're open and everything. They're not. They look like she, it looks like she's sick or dead, but actually her mandibles will will bite hard if you stimulate her or somehow she just keeps them slightly open and everything. It looks like she's sick. I'm gonna mix that substrate with this this live oak or whatever sawdust. And here's a, a leaf of it so you can see what my like, whoever knows about oaks can tell. That's a leaf. Also they lose their leaves during winter time, so it might not be live oak or haven't read about it though. Some wood in there. It's drier. Wow. Yes. 
Here's a larger larva. They're all stunted growth. Um, just kind of small. Well, maybe not tiny, but. Compared to the small one? Um, okay. yeah. Can't tell which is the small one. Oh, the one on the bottom is the small one, I think. When we were younger, the small one was a lot smaller. You could tell me that head, of course, by the head. Head. Uh, yeah, yeah. The one I'm holding is the smaller one. They look good. This one was in a drier substrate, so he was help he's probably healthier. Or, I think it's a heat because it's bigger. I, I couldn't tell what underneath the abdomen. They didn't have a V. They pitched a Japanese one, I was just close to. I can not see it. I didn't take a good look. So there's a knot or something. Crush it and Mix it up with the sawdust and whatever. The stag beetles, though, you might want to keep the log intact. I don't know, it might make them feel better or maybe it actually is better food for them if, and they may need their spe more special type of, I don't know, or maybe they're more picky and I have no idea the Buchanus alophis. They love some other stuff like this stuff. Here's one, I think, you know, yeah. Um, in here, there's um, I think they like white oak a lot, but maybe they don't eat anything. White fungus growing on the log. So this is a log. It's eaten through that, or a branch. Right there. See that hollow? I think this is a white oak too. I don't know. Red oak bark is quite different. But they could be mistaken them for. Maples, though, I don't think. The bark, underneath the bark, though, there's still near the maples on the right. So, underneath here is the larva. Oh, I can't see under there. There it is. Okay. A healthy larva, see? It's a young one. So, it's not colored white, it's bluish. There's a female, the egg spots. Showed kind of young. Eggplants. My individuals are the individuals might not be able to see it when they're really young. Okay. Also in the southeast or whatever North Carolina, these are extremely common or abundant. You'll, you might mistake them for Lucanus, um, Platycaris viridescens. Here they're just everywhere they'll find like 10 of them in a, underneath a big log or something but all there just a few centimeters apart and some stuff like that see how different different they are size but l2 larva that we can maybe like that <laughs> look like that i don't know you can't tell stag beetles apart by their head cap their heads but they're similar i don't know how to do it To this. I just have this one to just look at. I want to see what it turns out to be. This is made for white oak. That's why people took that one. But this stuff, this guy did not like. Then when I put this log in, she stayed in one place instead of. Uh, 
anything nomadic or anything everywhere. We should put maybe clay or dirt underneath the uh, an, you, uh, in, an inch or more layer of dirt and uh, an inch or more of uh, sawdust or whatever, the moist crushed logs. Maybe the, the canvas logs will be more comfortable and stay underneath in the dirt and uh, pop its head up into the sawdust or whatever. It's a sawdust or the uh, crushed moist looking wood. So. Maybe it's not that they saw this, but it, maybe it's not that it's bad wood. Uh, ah, maybe. Uh, larvae gone. Underneath they dug. So, let's get this. Oh, and they ate each other, the dynasties. Uh, I wouldn't keep them eating them. <laughs> Might be because I didn't feed them enough that I'm working. So I, I pretty much left them to starve <laughs> for uh, two more months. They had just dirt in there. They ate up all the as L2 they ate up all the, the substrate. I was like, wow, they ate a lot. There were like 30 or more, I guess. Or, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's enough here. Mm, too much. Well, we can mix them all in, in the bin, actually, that's why I have the bin here. This is hard to do in a little container. You might want to mix it all up and, and then put them in the containers afterwards. But we'll want substrate. I don't know if this stuff is good. I'm guessing it's not poisonous. Live oak. Larvas in here. So, here's one of these chested oaks. I think. Another. Um, let's see her. Ah, this is a small one. No, I think it's a big one. Yeah, I think it's just solid. Anyway, let's, let's get by. 